Hello tarot tubers, how you doing? So today I thought I'd bring out um, some of my spring decks. It's um, a few days, maybe a week past the spring equinox and the weather is starting to get a little bit nicer and the flowers are starting to poke up and I'm seeing buds getting ready to pop. The osprey are back, which is a sure sign um, on Cape Cod where I live on the east coast, northeast coast of uh, the states, um, that spring is coming. And so I thought I'd pull out a few decks that um, are springy to me and um, that I like to use this time of year. So the first one um, I thought I would talk about is uh, the Zillick Tarot by Christine Zillick. And this color palette to me is so, so springy. This is a Thoth-based deck, and I've had this for several years. I got it as a giveaway um, when I was at Reader Studio, uh, the tarot conference a few years ago. And um, I have really not used it, but now I'm starting to study um, Thoth system. And so I, I pulled this deck up, and, and I realized that it really has... Um, a lovely spring uh, palette to it. I thought I would show the Emperor because that's the uh, Aries card. And of course we're in the Aries season now. So I feel like this is um, a very spring feeling deck. And I'm going to dive into that soon. Um, as I said, I'm studying uh, Thoth now trying to anyway, and um, we'll see how it goes. Beautiful artwork, beautiful deck, and it does have a lovely uh, springtime feeling. Another deck that um, I like for this time of year is the um, Nature, Spiro, sp sorry, Nature Spirit Tarot by Jean Herzl. This is a um, completely nature-based, as the name implies, deck. All um, animals and plants and some crystals. And um, the cards are huge. You can see, like, they're just giant. Um, but it has a very springy feeling to it. So here's Temperance. It comes with this, um, you, you order it directly from Jean at naturespirittarot.com. And it comes in a box with uh, the deck in a, a tuck box and a, a really big, sizable uh, guidebook. Here's Temperance. And again, I thought I'd pull out the Emperor because it is the season of the Emperor right now. I love this Emperor, uh, sorry, this Magician card. It's starting to get into late spring in this card, but don't forget it doesn't become summer until June 21st. This star card, um, has a lovely spring palette and just a kind of an, a, a nice springy feeling to it. The pentacles to me look like daffodils and so um, where I live daffodils are just starting to to bloom now and um, I always think of daffodils for late March and early April. Page of Wands, um, Ten of Cups, lovely springy feeling more daffodils and you can see there's a crystal there and um, it's just it's lovely that's the um, eight of pentacles queen of wands you can see we have some insect friends here king of wands uh, ace of cups and I love this world card so that is the Nature Spirit Tarot, and the next one I wanted to talk about is Sun and Moon uh, Tarot. And again, this one has a lovely, it's by Vanessa DeCourt, has a lovely spring palette to a lot of the cards. I think it has some summery to it, so I would use it uh, spring into summer. But you can see there's just a sense of springiness, especially in the sword suit. And I do associate um, swords with spring. Um, so there's something about uh, this swords. Uh, here's the King of Swords. 
on a horse, which we often think of as night. Um, something about this Fool card feels very springy. And of course, with the um, Fool speaking of new beginnings and spring being new beginnings, I think this is um, a perfect card for spring. More swords. This is the Five of Pentacles, but there's something about this color palette that makes me think of spring. Ace of Cups. And this one makes me think of spring because it's bleeding heart. Um, and um, bleeding heart blooms here in, in May. Probably another month or so we'll start seeing bleeding heart. Um, so that is Sun and Moon Tarot. And then um, I showed this deck on a recent um, video that I did. And it's not the color palette, but it's the topic. So this is the baseball tarot. And um, baseball is very springy to me. Um, for many years, uh, my daughter and I went with a group of friends to spring training. Um, we would always go around this time of year. And there's just something very hopeful about um, baseball and spring. And I just make that connection with um, baseball and spring. Um, and today would have been um, the Major League Baseball opening day. And that's just, for people who follow baseball or are into baseball, um, opening day, it's okay, clean slate. Any team can go on to win the World Series. Um, at this point, who's to say? And I use this deck, um, it's one of the um, few predictive readings that I do, but always on opening day, I will um, do a predictive spread to see how my team um, is gonna fare. Um, and then I write it down and look at it back in the fall to see how I did and how the tarot did in terms of telling me um, or how I interpreted the cards anyway. Can't blame Tarot if I interpret it wrong, right? So this is um, the Two of Mitts, um, double play. And um, Mitts is Cups. And uh, Coach of Mitts. This is the Team, which is six. So instead of Lovers, we have the Team. And everyone's feeling so happy and hopeful. Um, this is the Three of Pentacles. It's called um, Safe. So you made it. You're not out. And I like this deck because it uh, it's inclusive. It isn't just all men. It's got some young women and boys and girls. So it's not just uh, Major League Baseball. It's Little League and it's pickup games and schoolboy and schoolgirl baseball. Um, there was one. Oh, here we go. So I love this deck. It's a springtime deck for me. As I said, it's not so much the color palette. It's the topic because for me, um, baseball is very much um, all about spring. Of course, I would have to include a plant-based um, deck. So now I'm moving on to um, Oracle decks. And this is one of my absolute favorite uh, plant uh, decks. It's called um, Soul Flower Plant Spirit Oracle Deck by Lisa Estabrook. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Um, and you, it's more about um, the spiritual nature uh, of the plants as opposed to how they heal bodies on a physical basis. Um, but I pulled out a few of the cards that are the more springy. So here we have crocus, which is um, opening, and crocuses are in bloom where I live now. Here's uh, daffodil, so bright and cheerful. Um, they're starting to come into bloom here. Pansies, another lovely spring flower. Hellebore have already been in bloom for a while. My beloved Bleeding Heart, which will soon be uh, blooming. Irises are sort of uh, end of May into June here. Uh, this is Nettle, and Nettle is already popping up in my garden, maybe about this high. 
Um, and nettle we end up harvesting soon, um, in May or so, because once, if you can see here on the nettle, once it starts to seed, it puts out those stringy seeds, um, you don't want to use it then. Um, you want to um, pick it and use it before it puts out those um, seeds because it can cause uh, kidney problems if you use it um, then. Evening primrose is a lovely spring flower, dandelion, and uh, periwinkle. So there are many other cards in this deck, but they're more uh, summery. I just pulled out the ones that, at least for where I live, bloom in the springtime. This is another uh, lovely oracle deck. This is called Secrets of the Mystic Grove. It is by um, Mary Elaine Thomas, and uh, the artwork and the guidebook is by Arwen Lynch. And I have an issue with this deck. And it's just completely lacks any sort of inclusivity um, in terms of humans. All the people basically look like this. So I don't use it to read for others. I use it to read for myself. Um, it, it's, it's a lovely deck. The artwork is gorgeous. So I love this one because it's red-winged blackbirds and those um, birds come back to Cape Cod where I live um, this time of year and I'm, I'm just starting now to hear um, the bird song from the red-winged blackbirds. Here we can see another uh, card with um, flowers and birds. Um, and this is really, I've got a lot of summery cards in it, but um, this card feels very springy to me. I love this with the fox and the birds. It's called Alliance. Um, many of the women in this deck have bird nests in their hair with birds. It's got some real whimsy to it. Um, and as I said, I do love the artwork, but I, I just wish it could have been more inclusive, and that's why I really only use it for myself. This beautiful owl. More deer. And this one is, uh, to me, very springy because of the rabbit. I always think of uh, rabbits as a springtime animal. Another lovely uh, deck that I think has a springy color palette is the Illuminated Earth Oracle. Um, and here I just pulled out a few cards that to me have um, springish colors. This one is uh, Wisdom. This is by Claire Mack. It, the guidebook has just maybe a few sentences on each um, card, and so I just read intuitively. And I usually just pull one or two of these cards um, in a, uh, in an, uh, to add to a tarot reading. I don't do a full reading with this deck. And again, I think it's got a beautiful color palette for spring. Look at the beautiful spring greens in this card. This is called Plants. Perfect. I love the pale pink um, and the, the blues and greens of this deck. This artwork is gorgeous. Claire, um, made the paper that's, uh, let's see here, you can see it in this card a little bit better. So she handmade the paper that is the background in all the cards, and then she did um, the artwork to go over top. Again, here, uh, this has got some foxglove in it, which does bloom around here in the beginning of June. Here we see a yellow iris, more green, this is a beautiful moon card, but you can see that the color palette is, this one is called Dreams. It's very springy. And uh, this is a deck, this one is so gorgeous, beautiful spring colors. It's a deck that I, uh, I'm drawn to because of the color palette uh, for spring. And then finally is, um, this is a, a beautiful little oracle deck. It only has 12 cards. It's called the Moon and Hair Oracle by Hannah Willow. 
and I so wish Hannah does, is um you can see her on Instagram I think it is at Hannah Willow or um at yeah at Hannah Willow so um the deck comes with um this lovely little guidebook and it has um color pictures of each of the cards and then a little um, bit about the card and in addition to the cards you also get um, a rune set that Hannah made and this reminds me or this I'm drawn to this deck in spring because of the rabbits and I, I do truly this is the um, this is the back of the card. Um, as I said, there's only 12 cards, but I usually pull one, um, especially this time of year, as an altar card. They're just beautiful. I love her artwork. She sells cards and jewelry and other things on her um, website. Check her out, beautiful work. She does bears and other things, and I wish she would do another set that, you know, you could sort of have an extension of this one, because 12 is just really not very many cards. But as I said, I do like pulling one for an altar card, and sometimes I'll, I'll do it at the beginning of, of a month. It's just, it's beautiful. You see the... And I love this one. Oh, I have so many um, bunnies in my yard. And um, we don't use like fertilizer and weed killer and those kinds of things on our lawn. Our lawn has um, a lot of moss. We have dandelion, violet, chickweed, plantain, clover, um, all kinds of... Um, beautiful herbs growing in our lawn and I notice that while some people complain that the rabbits eat the plants in their gardens um, the rabbits in my yard don't because our lawn is so full of uh, things that they enjoy chowing down on so anyway those are some of my springtime decks there are others but these were just the ones that came to mind and um, wishing you all um, a, a, a lovely spring day and um, hope that um, as a community at this difficult time we can um, stay in touch um, via YouTube and other social media platforms and boost each other's spirits um, while we are staying at home and staying as safe as we possibly can. Blessed be. Happy spring.